What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Pub Guns 101, a series where I go over each and every single gun in the game, giving you all the information you need to know about it, including range, damage, and fire rate. I also give you my personal thoughts and opinions on the weapon, and provide you with one of the best class setups that I have found, which is displayed at the beginning of each video. Alright, so let's get to it. In this episode, we'll be covering the Weevil. Nah, the Weevil. <laughs> man oh man, the little Weevil can be evil. This is a full auto submachine gun with moderate damage and largest class magazine size. The Weevil is a 4-6 shot SMG, meaning it will take 4 shots to kill enemies up close, 5 shots mid range, and 6 shots at a distance. Although this seems pretty standard for most SMGs within Black Ops 3, this one is more often than not a consistent 5 shot. You're generally not close enough to kill in 4 shots before you get vaporized by a better close range SMG. Where the Weevil excels is its capability of outshooting every other SMG for a long time because of its 50 bullet magazine. With a magazine size of 50 bullets, the Weevil holds between 10 to 20 more shots than any other SMG. Though this seems like a small number, if you do the math, that's potentially 2 to 4 more kills that you can get in one mag than you can with any other sub. Though this is a 5 shot gun for the most part, that isn't bad because the recoil is also very manageable. You will be able to land multiple shots and a relatively fast fire rate of 722 rounds per minute for quite a long time. I find this gun pretty consistent and good for the most part within Black Ops 3. Would I say it's the best SMG? Probably not. Would I say it's the worst? Definitely not. This is a gun that doesn't really need too many attachments, but if you do put them on, then it definitely improves the gun a lot. The long barrel, in my opinion, is the main attachment I would almost put on the Weevil every time. Like most SMGs, you really don't want them to become a 6 star kill at any range. The long barrel will prevent that from ever happening with the Weevil. The next attachment is the quick draw grip. This gun needs the quick draw grip, because it doesn't really excel all that much up close. You will find you need all the help you can get when you get in those close range showdowns with guns like the VMP or the Vesper. The quick draw grip is going to at least give you a fighting chance up close. Third and finally, the grip isn't that bad of an attachment for the Weevil either. If you're going to have a gun that kills in 5 shots on average, you may as well equip the grip to allow you to land as many shots as accurately and quickly as possible. This will allow you to take full advantage of that large magazine that the Weevil has and move quickly and continuously from opponent to opponent. Because this gun has a good 5 shot kill range and on average will kill enemies within that range, the silencer is a decent alternative to any of those attachments. Even though it makes this gun look a little funny, it doesn't really seem to ruin it all that much. I'm going to give a very strong warning though and tell you to expect that the 6 shot kill range will kick in more often, so be prepared to take a little longer in those gunfights. Rapid fire is also not a bad alternative. Rapid fire will bump up the fire rate a bit and give you a better chance up close and not affect your long game all that much. It will become a little wobbly off far, but it's still manageable. As far as attachments I would say stay away from, there isn't really any. Anything seems to work relatively okay with the Weevil. The iron sights are good, so there isn't really any reason to rock a reticle. And personally, I find if you put an elo or a red dot on this gun, it creates more recoil. But the gun still works both both of those sights. My preference is iron sights because I would rather spend those class points in a different way. But if you don't like the iron sights, then a dot isn't a bad option. I would also say don't put extended mags on, but it's kind of fun to use with the extended mags because not only does it make you feel like you're holding a baby LMG, the in-game reload animation is pretty cool and unique as well. Overall, the Weevil is a pretty weak SMG, but you can still do quite well with it. This gun is a great gun, and after playing a few games with the class setup I recommended at the beginning, I'm sure you'll agree with me. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what attachments you like running on your little Weeb, or if you think my class sucks. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode's lesson of Pub Guns 101, The Weevil. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the series where I go over each and every single gun in the game, or these videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet. This has been your host, Tech Energy. I'll catch you later. Oh,